Hello everyone again. I wanted to show you this evening the uh, these little things that uh, I purchased for the Picoscope, the Picoscope 2000, the non automotive scope. I think I've told you that one before, but I'll keep uh, I'll keep banging on about this scope because it's so good and it's so cheap. It's brilliant. So what I done was I bought these little attenuators from Handtech. Got them from eBay. I think it was two. I got two. There's one there, two for ten pounds. Now. I think you can see that they're a 20 to 1 attenuator. So I was going to show you how to set them up in the Picoscope software. But I think you can see actually on the, the device here, you're just going through the, the BNC connector that interfaces. <laughs> I just want to keep this like this so I can show you because it's a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to show you, I'll take you to the software and I'll show you how to set up the 20 to 1 uh, attenuators within the Picoscope. So I'll just put the camera down there. And we'll go to the scope. So you go up to the top here and you go into here and I've already got it set up. You must tell Picoscope that it's 20 to 1 that you've got in there and that sets up the, the voltage range correctly. Now what I want to do with with the probes that came with the thing, you've meant to you've meant to trim them so you get a good looking waveform in the whole thing. Let me see what did I do with the I had a bit of paper there that showed it demonstrated. Oh, here we go. Yeah. There's what came with the picoscope there. Yeah, let me just hold that there. So, there you go. Frequency compensation, it's called. Before taking any measurement using a probe, first check the compensation of the probe and adjust it to match the channel inputs. So you can see there, uh, when you set it up as a 1 kilohertz frequency and at 2 volts peak to peak, you should get the correct display. I'll put this thing down. So you get the correct display there, the one on the right hand side. So that, that's good, bad, bad. So I was a bit concerned about these little hand tech things. I never actually seen any screws on them that you could compensate. So I just decided to go in and have a look using the the automatic wave generator built into the, the cheap Picoscope. So <clears throat> the other leads that come with the Picoscope, oh, let me show you them. Dear me, man, stuff everywhere. These are the ones that come with it. And you can see at the bottom there, there's a little, wait, there's a little screw that you can oh, focus on everything. Bar, bar this thing here. See, in there, there's a little screw that you can trim so you can make the waveform look correct when it's displayed on the scope. So, as I say, these hand techs, I've not got this, so we'll see what it looks like, uh, actually, on the, on the scope. So, as I said, you go in there, you set up, uh, in here again, you set up, it's 20 to 1, that's okay. Then, for this, you've got to go up to here, and this, this turns on the, the signal generator, so you click that, so you say signal out, so you can see that I've, uh, it's a 1 kilohertz frequency, the amplitude's 2 volts peak to peak, and uh, the signal should be run like that. So I'll just let you see how this this waveform looks. I need to I'll make the connection here at the back, just put it in the middle bit, there you go. So that's without any compensation, and I'm sure you agree that. That's about time base that, well, it's on a 500 microsecond time base. I mean, that's a, that's a good looking pattern, so you can see there... It goes from a, I've got on a trigger there, but never marry. Two volts peak to peak, and the 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 signs, the the sides look quite smooth. They're not curved or anything. We could take the time base down. Well, that's it up actually. But uh, once you get deeper into it, say at fifty microseconds, it starts to squint out a wee bit. But I think that's still quite a good looking way for. It's more than adequate for a. Using on a car, I would say so. That's that there. So I thought this was a great addition, especially working on cars. Putting these attenuators, and I'll just I'll just use them all the time. If any of you know any negative reasons why you shouldn't uh, use these things, you can chime in in the chat. But uh, I just thought it's a way of protecting your scope, and uh, especially when you're dealing with diesel injectors or even petrol injectors or uh, the new what do you call it, high pressure fuel injectors. So it's a good way of protecting your scope. Another thing, you can see that it can go up to 400 volts now. So this, this wee cheap scope has a full range. So 
Hopefully I'll find some projects to use it on and I'll let you see, but uh, as I said, the cheapest Picoscope, two channels, and uh, I'll tell you how I got on, I'll report back. Cheers everybody.